Stardew Valley was released in 2016. If you are a little bored of the game, I can't really blame you. However, here are some things that I do when I get bored of Stardew Valley. If you are getting bored in Stardew Valley, the first and most important thing you can do is just keep playing the game, but stop creating new save files, actually finish the game and get perfection. There are a total of 8 star drops to collect, finding them all is no joke, it'll take dedication and hard work. The monster eradication goals are also really fun to complete, with the new weapons and monster masks you can easily do these quests really quickly and it can really change up your gameplay if you are focusing on combat instead of farming for once. You will also need to catch every fish in the entire game. Fortunately magic bait makes this a tiny bit easier but why stop there, take it further, catch all of the legendary fish as well. While they are not required for a star drop or for an achievement, they are still an achievement. Then on the flip side if you have already done all of this and you only have one save that is maxed out, create a new profile and do it all over again. You will be surprised at how much you have learned and how much better you are at the game than when you first started. The Skull Cavern is where you will find Iridium Ore. You will go to the Skull Cavern often in the early game, but eventually you'll have enough Iridium Ore and maybe you won't even have a reason to visit the Skull Cavern anymore. Well, just turn the Skull Cavern into a challenge. There are two challenges I would recommend. First, try and get as deep as you possibly can. Then keep going and beat your personal record. Keep min-maxing your character and see just how far you can get. Try to do it without bringing too many staircases, only use them on infested floors and really challenge yourself. The deepest I have gotten when doing this is around floor 400. Naturally I had every luck buff available and abused the slingshot. Go ahead, try and beat my high score. Let me know how deep you get in the comments below. The second challenge that I often do is getting the Skull Cavern Invasion quest and then doing it with Monster Musk. If you have never seen this, it is absolutely horrifying. This quest will fill the Skull Cavern with dangerous deadly versions of the monsters you already hate. Monster Musk on top of that will drastically increase the amount of enemies in here. This is challenging, beating this challenge is a true show of strength. Best of luck to you. Listen here you, you absolutely want to hit subscribe on this video right now. Got an awesome mini series coming up that you do not want to miss. I appreciate you dearly. At first glance, Stardew Valley doesn't seem like the type of game that you would speed run, but then again, neither does Minecraft. Fortunately, this game does have a pretty decent speedrunning community and loads of tutorials on how to speedrun. Challenge yourself and see just how fast you can beat the game. You can either do a real world time speedrun where you see how many hours it takes you to beat it, or you can see how many in-game days it takes you to beat it. Either way, playing the game this way is considerably different than playing it normally. This will truly put all of your Stardew Valley knowledge to the test. And if going fast isn't your thing, you can try min-maxing instead. There are people who have made upwards of 90 million gold within their first year in this game. Do not ask me how they did it, that's too crazy for me, but it might not be too crazy for you. If you're bored of Stardew Valley, try and make your own unique content on the game. Make YouTube or even TikTok videos about your favorite game. Show other people why you love the game or just mess around and have fun. Kind of like what I do. This can reawaken your love for the game and trust me, this will force you to play the game in ways you would never before. Another normal playthrough is not going to work here on YouTube, but a crazy unique playthrough that no one else has thought of, yeah, you'll have fun doing that. 100 days of Stardew Valley, but as a slime, yeah, I'd watch that. There are two hidden, secret, mysterious cutscenes that an overwhelming majority of players have never seen. To see one of these cutscenes, all you need to do is reach 8 hearts with each and every marriage candidate. Give them all bouquets and then get all of them to 10 hearts and then watch all of their 10 heart cutscenes. This seems easy, trust me, it isn't. I won't spoil these cutscenes here. There's only one way to experience these gems, go give it a try. Within the vibrant Stardew Valley community, there lies a somewhat hidden yet incredibly dedicated mini cult, the Farm Decorators. There is an entire subreddit devoted exclusively to these creative individuals. These players aren't just playing the game, they're transforming their farms into breathtaking works of art, seeking to outshine each other with their aesthetic prowess and attention to detail. To get praise on this subreddit, your farm is going to need to be absolutely incredible. This will take you 
hours of planning and meticulous hard work. If you're bored of the game, try to design and build a farm so impressive that those reddit nerds have no choice but to upvote you. This might seem crazy, but if you are getting bored of Stardew Valley, all you need to do is wait for the new update. It's not that far away, like take a break of the game and enjoy the update on launch day. Playing the update on the very first day when it launches is just the best. Why? Because you will get to experience all of the new bugs and glitches first before they get patched out. Do not burn out of Stardew Valley so that you have no intention of playing the new update. This next update is absolutely packed with new features and things to explore. Oh yeah, there will also be brand new secrets that no one knows about yet. You could be the first person to find a new secret, take a mini break, come back and then play the heck out of the game all over again. Okay, okay, hear me out here. This next one might be even crazier than the last. You could play other games that are somewhat similar to Stardew Valley. It is true that nothing out there is quite as good, but these might just scratch that itch. Graveyard Keeper, nothing like Stardew Valley, but quite fun. Cora Island, a game that is like a Stardew Valley clone. You'll feel right at home. Pal World, a game that's nothing like Stardew Valley, but seems pretty fun. I haven't tried it yet, but let me know if you want some videos on that. And yeah, look at this list. There are plenty of options, you might just find your next addiction. This might be a terrible idea, but what if you played Stardew Valley but in real life? Grow a garden or something, I won't be doing this, but you could I guess. Just don't mimic all of the aspects of Stardew Valley. Running up to random people with gifts and slashing swords at random animals is most likely not a good idea. If you are bored, you could just cause absolute chaos in the valley. There are quite a few ways to do this. My favorite chaos bringing methods include slimes. Get some slime egg incubators and hatch a couple slimes around the world of Stardew Valley. You need not hatch as many as I do as they do still mate and duplicate. After enough time, the entire valley could be filled with these critters. If you do this, I hope you have the slime charmer ring. Otherwise, your playthrough is going to be incredibly painful. This might not be as painful, but it is. Is fun. Rename all of your farm animals to something funny or even sinister. Yeah, this cow is indeed called Hamburger. You can also see how fast you can lose friendship points with people. You can do this by giving them hated gifts, especially on their birthdays, and shooting them with slingshots. Games like Skyrim are still popular today because A, they're amazing and B, they have incredibly dedicated modders that push the game past its limits and just extend the game by an infinite amount. Stardew Valley is exactly the same. If you are playing on PC and can use mods, you should use them. From simple quality of life mods to massive game changing mods that add so much they could even be called expansions or DLCs. To the weird strange mods that you will almost regret downloading. Loading. If you play Stardew Valley on PC, you have no excuses. You cannot get bored of this game. Actually, everything I said in this video is wrong. If you're bored of Stardew Valley, then just watch this video about strange ways to make money and it will reawaken everything. Thanks for watching, but for now, I will see you in the next video.